I'm not on TikTok because I'm old, and posting videos of myself on the internet would be embarrassing. But it's really hard to escape the news about TikTok's famous Chipotle quesadilla hack. Fortunately for me, Chipotle has made it an official menu item, and today I have one. Stay tuned. Life gets pretty weird sometimes. You don't always want to cook. So sit down in your chair right there and have yourself a look. We're going through the drive through and getting some fast food. Then we'll eat and talk about if it's bad or good. It's eating fast food in the car and talking about it with Andy. Ugh. Okay, today we have the TikTok famous quesadilla hack from Chipotle. This is supposed to taste like a Philly cheese steak. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I haven't tried their quesadillas yet. They are an in-app or online exclusive item. Um, my understanding what makes this special is that now you can finally add fajita vegetables to your quesadilla. And I gotta be honest, when, I, I forget how long the quesadillas have been a thing, a year or so. I tried to order one when they first came out and I was disappointed I couldn't have chicken and vegetables. It had to be one or the other. So I'm glad that you can finally add fajita vegetables to your quesadillas. I'm also glad that the, uh, the Chipotle honey vinaigrette is available as a side item. Unfortunately, only if you buy a quesadilla. That is my go-to favorite thing to put on, on bowls and burritos. I wish you could just order that all the time on the app. So... If you, if you know Chipotle people, listen and make that available all the time. Anyway, I digress. What we have, uh, from what I can tell, now you can get vegetables in your quesadilla. That's the whole thing. What kicked this off was a TikTok video. From what I can tell, I have the original version of this. It's a steak quesadilla with vegetables, corn salsa, sour cream, and I got the dressing. And you mix the dressing with the sour cream to make a sauce. Dip the quesadilla in it. It's good. I'm talking way too much. We gotta get to work. First thing we're gonna do is assemble the sauce. Um, like I said, their honey vinaigrette is one of my favorite things in the world. I have a make at home recipe for it that I will do sometimes when we do tacos at home. I love it on everything. It's usually fuller than this, I gotta say. This is, uh, I think they're skimping. So we got the quesadilla. Side of sour cream that I can't show you because it's super runny and will spill. And uh, corn salsa, favorite salsa. So I'm glad that that was part of the original hack. Sauce goes in. Mix. This sour cream is like water. They really, really, and there's a chunk of something in it. That's delicious. That's steak, okay. Scaring me for a second. Okay. So we have a creamy sauce. We'll give that a taste first. It's not bad. I mean, I like sour cream. I like the sauce. So it goes good together. Steak quesadilla. I figure I'm going to do this in a couple different ways. I'm going to try the plain quesadilla. I'm going to try the quesadilla with the sauce. And then I'm going to try to get some of that corn salsa in there. We'll see which bite's the best. Start with plain quesadilla. It's good. I mean, it's... It's not set the world on fire good, but it's good. So... I'm going to try to get, this is really hard to eat in the car. Probably why I haven't done a Chipotle video yet. I'm going to try to get, I want like this, I'm going to go on the other side. I don't know. I want to bite with a lot of stuff on it. In the sauce. God, it's going to be a mess. The flavor is good. I don't get the Philly cheese steak uh, uh, sense like it was supposed to be. Um, if I gotta be honest, the steak's a little tough. A little tough. I'm usually a chicken guy. Um, I don't. I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can get some of this corn salsa on here. Nope. Fork maybe. This is just a mess. 
Hope you're not here to see me eat neatly. It's decent. None of it's been bad. I have enjoyed every bite more as it has progressed. So, plain is okay. With the sauce, better. Sauce and salsa, best. But even that best, I'm failing to see what the hype is about. My notes. Number one, I have always loved the vinaigrette. I think more vinaigrette to sour cream would have made it better. I also think I kind of got... Uh, their sour cream is always runny. This This is like straight liquid. It feels like they didn't stir it before they ladled it in here. So, I think a thicker sauce would help. Uh, corn salsa I'm not mad at. It's my favorite salsa from there. <sighs> Quesadilla itself, not bad. Um, not, I'm not a big fan of their steak. I don't know if it's just today or... Oh, see that piece? That's straight gristle. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's no good. Um, I'm usually a chicken guy. I think I said that already. I've, I've stepped away from that a couple times. I've actually, this is probably one of only a handful of times I've gotten something different at Chipotle. One time they, when they first introduced the tofu thing, the sofritas, I think, you got a free entree if you tried that. So I did that. It was okay. Um... I tried, oh boy, now it's escaping me. It wasn't the barbacoa, it was the smoked brisket. There it is, make your brain get it. I tried the brisket one time. It was decent, uh, it wasn't worth the cost that they wanted for the little scoop of brisket. Um, and then I've, I've got the quesadilla today. Other than that, I have either gotten a chicken fajita burrito or bowl every time I've gone to Chipotle, my entire life. And I think I'm going to stick with that, because this, this is okay. Let me give it one more bite. I'm going to finish this half of the quesadilla, formulate my thoughts, and uh, be back for official rating after this bite. Okay. I might just be cynical, but I feel like every time... There is some sort of viral menu item, and then the company makes it an official thing. I always assume that the company was behind it going viral in the first place. Because they just wanted this to get out there, get hyped, and they're going to make it. Maybe not. I don't know. I can just... I never shake that feeling, and I think this is an example of that. Because, unless I just got a poor specimen of it, this is okay at best. It is, the steak's chewy, uh, had gristly pieces, which again, that is, that is not across the board. That's my, my specific time. The flavors are whatever. It's not bad by any means. If you like Chipotle, you would like this. In a similar way to Taco Bell, where they have the same eight ingredients and put it in different ways, it's the same thing. If you like a steak burrito, you'd probably like a steak quesadilla because it's got the same stuff just without the rice. Does that make sense? So it doesn't taste bad, but it is also not the, oh, whoa, we got to blow this up. This is the most, this is the hack of the year. Like it's, it's not that it's okay. Um, I'm going to say for this specific like this meal that I have in my hands, two stars. Sour cream is very watery. The steak is very chewy. If I can assume that you could get a thicker sour cream, maybe some more of that vinaigrette to, to give it more of that flavor, and you had a better cut of steak, I would take that to three stars. Had a burp come out of nowhere, so I don't know how I'm gonna edit this out. I would take that to three stars. Uh, it's not worth going out to get, but it's not worth avoiding either. It just is what it is. 
Well, there you have it. I'm going to finish the other side because I'm very hungry, and hunger is the best sauce. I'm glad to have finally tried the TikTok quesadilla hack. Definitely am not going to get this again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.